Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about the theory of relativity and how it relates to men's suits, or specifically buying a men's suit. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. And if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it right down there. And feel free to grab my free 47-page ebook on men's style. It's good, it's great, it's free. And if you want more, I have a premium ebook. You've probably heard about it. 600 pages, 400 pictures, 14 hours of audio. It's awesome. And it supports my business here in Wisconsin. So I would appreciate you checking it out. All right. So the question that came in was uh, from a gentleman. Uh, it was actually Kevin. He's out in San Diego. He is a surface warfare officer transitioning out of the military. And Kevin wrote, wrote, wrote me actually a great letter, uh, a lot of information here. He's been going looking at suits in the San Diego area. But one of the things Kevin mentioned was he, did a, he watched a lot of my videos. The suits I'm looking at are the men's warehouses most expensive suits that they carry. And everything else, you know, he was pretty good on. But I wanted to go to this because, and I'm not going to knock the men's warehouse. I'm not going to knock Jose Banks. I'm not going to knock Brooks Brothers or any other manufacturer. These businesses serve a purpose and they're helping a lot of men dress better. But the point I want to make is understanding quality of menswear and relativity. And so what do I mean by this? I mean that Whenever you're out there looking for a good deal in menswear, that the highest line of any manufacturer is rarely the best deal. And the re how I describe value is you're getting the most for your money. Usually the way it's broken up, and think of it like a car. You've got the bare bones, you've got the mid mid-sized, or you know, basically what most people buy. And then you've got the luxury. And the luxury, you're often paying for things that you don't really need, but you know, you're paying for the privilege to have. While in the center area, kind of like the sweet spot where most people buy, is where you've got the things that really are going to pay dividends and that you do want to have. The bare bones, as you know, that's when you're getting, you know, stuck with the stick shift and you're having to shift all over the place in a big city and it just drives you nuts as your kids are screaming in the back and yeah, don't get don't get me started. <laughs> the point, relativity, what, what does this have to do with it? Well, before this gentleman goes out and chooses a suit and goes with this higher end men's warehouse suit, he needs to go and try on the best suits out there to really get a feel because he may find that a mid-level suit at Brooks Brothers is going to cost him maybe just a little bit more, but is going to be at a much higher quality level. And the only way he's going to know this is he needs to go to these higher end menswear stores and try jackets on. And any man can do this. And I recommend that as you're going through your journey to dress better, you go into higher end men's stores, not just for suits, but any type of clothing that you're going to be looking to purchase and see what the best is. I mean, don't be intimidated by these stores. Go in there and talk with the gentleman. And you know, you don't want to use people's times unless they really want to help you look around. But be very clear, hey, I'm not here to buy today, but I do want to look, I want to feel, I want to try things on to, to see if this is the right type of clothing for me. And what you'll find is you'll start to notice the small details. You know that, wow, these buttons are made out of horn. That the fit here is just, it just feels better in the chest. I like the way these shoulders are built. Or if it's a shirt, you'll start to feel the cotton and think, wow, this is really nice. This is important because you can then go back to the value stores or to where you normally shop and say, wow, this is a lot, this is much worse quality and it's not worth me paying. I would rather pay a little bit more and get much better quality. Or when you're down there shopping or you're going through the thrift, uh, even through the thrift stores, you're able to identify a great deal when you see it because you remember what you saw at those higher end menswear stores and then go back. I remember the first high end jacket I tried on. I was in Kiev, Ukraine, and I went into this Italian luxury store. And I mean, this was a $3,000 jacket off the rack suit. And I put that thing on and I knew I wasn't going to buy it. I wasn't going to spend $3,000 for, for a suit at that time. But I tried it on and I was like, wow, this fit is awesome. I mean, it just felt, 
I mean, I, like butter. I, I mean, well, maybe it didn't feel exactly like butter, but I mean, I can't really describe. I never felt clothing up to that point that was so smooth and just fit my body the way this Italian suit did. And after that, every other, and, and I was in Kiev, Ukraine, so a lot of these suits are coming out of Russia and places and the fabrics were not great. So I went to these other stores and I was like, wow, I am really, you know, there's a big difference between a $3,000 suit and a $300 suit. And you've got to, you know, yeah, it may be hard to go back down, but it will get you thinking and looking for deals and you're going to be able to spot them a lot easier. So that was the point I wanted to hit with with relativity and buying a men's suit is that you want to know whatever suit you buy, where it's at relative to the to the scale. And unless you know what the best is like, and you're, you're not going to know, you know how far down uh, the scale you know, the jacket you're trying on really is. Okay, this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. If you've got a question, if you've got something you want to add, I'd love to see you in the comments, but better yet, go check us out at menstyleqna.com and that's where I'm really able to allow the best questions and answers to rise to the top. YouTube, man, these comments are broke. I, I don't see them half the time. So, uh, hope to see you over at menstyleqna.com. Take care. Bye-bye.